All right, you guys. Today we are talking about one of my favorite topics, how to poop like a champ. We all know that less than satisfactory bowel movements are pretty shitty. See what I did there? In my line of work, I talk a lot about gut health, digestive health, regular bowel motility with my clients. Well, on the daily, if we are not pooping regularly, that means we are not functioning optimally from a digestive standpoint. We should have at least one fully satisfying bowel movement a day without it being really strained or like liquid lava. It should be right in the middle. If you don't know what a Bristol stool chart is, you want to familiarize yourself with that right in the middle is where we want to be. So let's talk about pooping, shall we? There are three things that you can do today to shit like a champ. You don't have to buy any supplements. You don't have to buy anything. You can implement them with just lifestyle hacks. And doing these three things have truly transformed so many of my clients' lives from feeling bloated after meals and just not really being able to empty to full satisfaction to feeling like they've never been more regular in their entire life. So I'm going to share them with you. They're groundbreaking. So make sure you're sitting down. Number one, what we want to do is encapsulate each of your three biggest meals a day by about 30 to 45 minutes and no water. I know drinking water is great for our overall health for many reasons. We'll save that soapbox for a different day. But when we drink a lot of water right before or during our meals, it can dilute our stomach acid to the point where it's no longer an optimal level of acidic to break down what we eat for our body to basically utilize the nutrients are in our food and get rid of what it doesn't want. So Encapsulating each of your three biggest meals by 30, 45 minutes of no water can really help keep our stomach acid to optimal potency for digestion. So let's say you have lunch at noon, make sure you cut that water at about 11.45, and then let's say you're done with lunch by about 12.15, then make sure no more water until about 12.30. There you go. There's your 30 minutes on, so 15 minutes on either side, and that is literally step one to pooping better. All right, number two. What we want to do is tap into our body's built-in nervous system regulation for overall digestion. So our digestive system is driven heavily by what is called our vagus nerve. Basically, our vagus nerve lives in our parasympathetic nervous system. We live in our modern culture, in our daily lives, on Instagram and TikTok and Reels and in traffic and Zooms and meetings and families in a sympathetic state. Go, go, go. More, more, more. We're always just running around like our hair's on fire. Yeah, I know the feeling. It it gets the best of me too. But when we are running around like our hair's on fire, we're in a sympathetic dominant state. But our vagus nerve that drives digestion lives in our parasympathetic nervous system. So if we are not in a parasympathetic state, tapping into that side of our nervous system while we're trying to eat and digest, we're not tapping into our body's full potential to actually help us digest what we eat. So no, I'm not saying every meal you need to like light candles and like, like really like, mm, and feel like, you, okay, we don't need to be that aggressive, but five to 10 deep belly breaths before your three largest meals a day. So yes, in through the nose, expand that belly. Let it out. Five to 10 of those before your three biggest meals can help your body just break free from the ah of our life and shift into a state that is more appropriate for digestion. Not everybody has to do this, but if you are not pooping regularly and you're all too familiar with colon blow because you're constipated more often than you'd like to say, these are things that you should start implementing yesterday. So now we're going to encapsulate our meals with no water. We're going to take some deep belly breaths before our three biggest meals a day. And then last but not least, Liz, you ready? Are you ready? Chew. I know. Chew your food much more thoroughly than you're chewing it now. If you are pooping out entire blueberries, you are not chewing your food near enough. Or you can like identify things minus corn. That's a different story. But you need to chew your food into basically like an applesauce consistency or pumpkin puree. It should be goop before you swallow it down. That way we're taking a lot of the mechanical digestion 
off of our stomach and GI tract, which is optimal for overall absorption of nutrients and excretion of waste. So doing those three simple things, literally, you buy nothing, you can do them right now, stop drinking a lot of water around your meals, calm the F down around mealtime with a couple deep breaths, maybe stop eating while actively walking and moving, and then just chew your food more thoroughly. Those three things have the ability to make you poop better than you ever pooped in your entire life. So give them a try. Please report back and let me know what you think by dropping a comment under this video. And as always, make sure you come back for more videos. So on YouTube, um, I'm Hannah Brandt. On Facebook, I'm also Hannah Brandt. On Instagram, I'm having an eating cake. And on TikTok, I'm also having an eating cake. You can also find me on Pinterest. I'm pretty easy to find. So I am so excited you guys are here and I hope to see you around some more.